What up, world? Oh no, I don't like that. <clears throat> Sup, YouTube? No. What up, YouTube? No. Today, I'm starting a new series of videos on general English because I'm pretty tired. So, today's video is focusing on phrasal verbs. We'll have a little quiz at the end for all of you trying to learn American English. All right, so today's phrasal verbs all start with the letter B. Why? Because. And I'm going to organize these videos by letters. Today, we'll talk about seven. So, let's get to it and do it. All right, so number one, back off. Now this one means to leave somebody alone or to stop bothering them. For example, if you have one person who is bothering another person, this person could say, yo, back off before I hit you in the face, fool. So that was an angry start, but let's do number two. Back up. Now this one has different meanings. And the easier one is physical, it's reverse. Beep. It's to go this way, or back, back, back it up. But the other one is technology related. And this means to save information. For example, have you ever worked on a project or a document or a paper and you forgot to save it? No. <laughs> well, you should have backed up your work. You should have saved your work. Number three, bang on. And this one is very physical. This means to hit something with a lot of force. And an example is... Has that ever happened? Probably. Number four is bank on. And this one has a similar, but still different pronunciation from bang on. You have bank with a K and bang with a G. This means to trust hope or depend or plan on something happening. For example, when I was 18, I was banking on going to the University of Florida. I was banking on them accepting me, but they didn't. That's so very, very sad. But it's okay because I went to school in Hawaii, so <clears throat> that's okay, Florida. Number five, to blow away which means to amaze, actually, to amaze somebody with something you've done. So for example, I blew my teacher away with my perfect attendance. <coughs> okay, but yeah, I blew my teacher away, I amazed her because of my achievement. All right, number six is brighten up. And this one is a happy phrasal verb. This means to make a situation more pleasant or enjoyable or happy. A question for you, do you have any friends who brighten up your day? Oh, best friend, that's my best friend, that's my best friend, yes! I don't have any friends, that's why I do YouTube. Number seven is a seasonal phrasal verb, to bundle up. This means to put on lots of warm clothing before you experience cold weather or a cold situation. For example, in January, I bundle up every morning before I go to work. All right, and there's our seven phrasal verbs. So, oh, there's a, yeah, it's quiz time. So we're gonna have five questions but we have seven phrasal verbs, so you have seven options. You won't use every phrasal verb. You also may have to change the verbs' forms. Try the questions and we'll check them at the end. And as always, if you need more time, pause the slides. Let's do it. Number one, many college football players blank becoming professional athletes after school. Number two, before we left the hotel to go skiing, my father said, hey, you better blank because it's snowing. 
Number three, my girlfriend's bird died last night. Mm -hmm. Today, I made her a huge breakfast to try and blank her day. Number four, in the movie Home Alone on a Dark Night, the main character is terrified because he finds a murderer blank his front door. Number five, I was so mad yesterday. I was working on my history paper, but I forgot to blank the file before my computer died. All right, how'd you do? Let's check. Number one, many college football players bank on becoming professional athletes after school. <clears throat> Number two, before we left the hotel to go skiing, my father said, hey, you better bundle up because it's snowing. Or you could just go to the beach, but whatever. Number three, my girlfriend's bird died last night. Today, I made her a huge breakfast to try and brighten up her day. Hmm, should have gotten a dog. Number four, in the movie Home Alone on a Dark Night, good movie title, I know. The main character is terrified because he finds a murderer banging on his front door. And number five, I was so mad yesterday. I was working on my history paper, but I forgot to back up the file before my computer died. Okay, so there we are. Now I hope this video helped you, and next time we'll do the letter L or K or O or who knows. Thanks for watching, love you long time, and peace out.